I picked UTA because I saw a group of girls that have a ton of potential to grow and a bunch of people that I would love to grow with. The program has won seven national championships. The biggest success we see is seeing them graduate, be able to go out and get jobs and have families and, um, and be independent. Well, the program started in the 1970s with Coach Hayes, who was uh, the first graduate of UTA in a wheelchair. One of the things he did was to start a wheelchair basketball team named the Freewheelers. UTA was the first university to offer full scholarships for athletes with disabilities. They won four straight national championships in the early 90s, and that kind of changed the game for college wheelchair basketball because other schools realized if we're going to be competitive, we need to start offering scholarships too. Just on and off the court, there's so much support with education, with stuff outside of basketball, that it helps you focus on what you need to get done. I think the impact of this program, it, it's really multi-dimensional. A lot of them come in because they want to play wheelchair basketball. As they mature and grow up, they realize part of the journey is also maximizing their potential and reaching their potential as a human being. It helped me you know, to stay active. It's helped me make a ton of friends. I mean, they've, they've set the stage. They've allowed me to grow and take a leadership position. I've taken a lot from it. I think it's less than 27% of people with disabilities go on and get a college degree. So this program is a, actually the vehicle that helps them reach their dream and really finding out who they are as a person and what their potential really is, and, it, and it's unlimited. I'm Rose Hollerman. I'm Juan Soto. I'm UTA coach Doug Garner. And I'm alive. And I'm alive. And I'm alive with the American dream. Arlington, the American dream city.